All right. All right. So, welcome to another episode of Chromatic Banter. <laughs> he really wanted to do that. Yes. Um, Somebody had to do it. <laughs> That's great. So, my name's Pete. I'm Flowers. Drama. And we're going to be talking about Theros Beyond Death today. Beyond Theros. Right, we each got a couple cards picked out, and I think we got uh, our opinions of which set they'll work out best with. So, why don't we uh, get right into it? What, um, what are your selections for cards that you think are the most um, interesting to you or most prominent for any reason? Okay, so we got six. <laughs> we got six. And for me, I'm my main format is Commander. I've got about almost 20 Commander decks. So whenever I'm looking at a new set, I'm looking at the cards that go into those decks. And there are some cards that when they get printed, they go into every single deck. And so my first pick of the day is Mirror Shield. It's an uncommon, and it's two mana. Two mana to equip. And it's got some weird interaction with Death Touch that you can kind of just ignore. Mm -hmm. Because what it does is it gives your creature Hexproof. And so, looking at your commander decks, any commander that you need to have on the battlefield in order for your deck to work, um, I call that a linchpin commander. Any one of those decks, you can just shove another mirror shield in. Yeah, so, mirror shield, pick it up, it's cheap, mm -hmm. and it'll go in pretty much any commander deck you want. And I feel like the... Um... No. <laughs> <laughs> Legion. Hey, that's Legion, everybody. <laughs> right on. That's pretty cool. Um, what's what's your, your first selection? So, my first boy. Hello, Mr. Mailman. <laughs> um, Man, that mailman is frozen. Is, yeah. Conros. How do you spell it? Coronos. 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 I'm just going to call him Cerberus. There he is. Um, Three-headed dog. Yeah. yeah. So, this dude, he's one uh, white and the black, and he has Vich, Menace, and a lifelink, and he is a 3-3 that has, he's basically Graph Digger's Cage on a body. Um, I think this card's nuts. Are in those colors. Um, and you just have a body on the Graph Digger's Cage. So like the, the problem with Graph Digger's Cage is like, I mean, it's only one mana um, and it does the same effect. Mm -hmm. um, but it's taking up like, it's taking up a card slot, right? In your sideboard. Yeah. Now you have a threat. Uh, that's my card, Peter. How about you? Uh, what'd you pick? So my first pick is um, uh, was it Dryad of the? Uh, oh yeah, the Dryad of the Elysian Grove. There we go, Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Dude's just chilling, hanging out in the grove, being, <laughs> being an imp, mostly <laughs> naked, mostly just naked, snaky male. Steve and that. Just you know, it's all good. Male. But so he actually acts like a like a chromatic lantern that just kind of allows your mana to be all colors of mana, and he allows you to play an extra mana. Each turn, which is just, I mean, that's, you could use that in any format. And what's, what's this cost? I think it was three mana, right? Three mana. Yeah, it's, it's three like, mana. like super cheap, simple green card that just makes your your, your entire play style so much more versatile. You know, if you, if you wanted to have a splash of a color here and there, this is like exactly the way to do that. Um, and, if, and the fact that we can have a chromatic lantern and that in the deck at once now, I'm just like, I'm super excited for my own five color decks to, uh, to be able to use that in, in Commander, especially for my Jota deck. Yeah, yeah. Like if if you have a five color Commander deck, this card is going in your deck. Yeah. It, it's it belongs there. If you have a four color Commander deck and it's not the non green one, it's going in. So he's not legendary as well, which is sweet. He is an enchantment creature, which he can be tutored for mm -hmm. a lot easier. Ooh, yeah. 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 One thing that I will say about Dryad of the Elysian Grove is he's real naked. <laughs> and like if you look at the art, the nipples just like watching you. Which I, I find the art personally like quite revolting. I find it to be like one of the worst arts ever. And, and, <laughs> I and can't it's not stop one of the Back away. Cause when you're a little black kitty and you're hungry, you don't care what's happening in the room. You're just gonna eat your food next to the microphone and make lots of noise cause that's what you do. It's a cute time. And he's eating all the food. It's a cute time. And he's eating all the It's Thackeray munching and crunching it up. Perfect effect. Yeah. Let's let's move on from there. Let's go on to the next uh, sure. selection. 
Mike, you want to do your next one? This is my baby. All right. This is my, uh... <laughs> That's your baby, too. So, the binding of the Titans. All right, um... This card's fucking nuts! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we gotta teach you not to swear, man. <laughs> you will never make any money off of this video if you swear. What? Yeah. So, this card is nuts. It's banana hammock, okay? Banana it's banana hammock. hammock. Fucking, uh... <laughs> nuts out. That is. Uh, like, literally, like, any single deck that wants to mill itself and wants shit in the graveyard, yeah. this thing is insane. Oh, yeah, Binding of the Titans. Yes. Right. Um, so... Yeah, like I said, so it's a it's a Stitcher Supplier combined with Eternal Witness. And um, not only that, but it mills the opponent three as, as well. And, you know, like a lot of times, like maybe they have a graveyard deck and they, they want to deal with it. Well, guess what? Your next turn, you can just, boop, you can just snipe two of their creatures, gain two life. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you gain an advantage off that. And then you just return something to your hand, a creature on land. It's it's so good. This thing is insane. Okay. It, it has its merits. I'll give you that much. It's definitely like for a... All right. So I want to talk about Hactos the Unscarred. Unscarred. That's right. He's a... Don't a kill two me. Red, two white, mm -hmm. six one. Um, Hactos oh. the Unscarred attacks each combat at Babel. And, and the of, as he enters the battlefield, Choose two, three, or four at random. Hactos has protection from each converted mana cost other than chosen number. So Ooh. I think this is like a really good card for, I mean, a lot of different formats, but I think it's just a really good card for its, its versatility and defense in that it's like you only have one weak point, and that's whatever CMC you land on, uh, two, three, or four, which mm -hmm. I guess there, there's a lot of creatures with that, that. But if you're in the late game, say, like Commander, and yeah. everyone's got these giant beasts out, and you're just like, well, okay, I'm completely safe with my little 6-1. Yeah, uh, I think it's about time they did Achilles. Right. Oh, yeah, Hactos. Perfect. That's, that's my, my second call, is Hactos. Hactos! Hactos, more like hack... Don't Hactos know. enemies with your spear. Right, Beach? Yeah. He's got it. We gotta, okay. work on, we gotta work on being funny. We're, we're All right, gonna... let's move on. So, we we got five cards so far. Yeah. So, so this, is my, this is my last card. Yeah. And I'm super pumped for this. So the final card we're going to talk about today is Setessen Champion. So step step one, step one, looks pretty cool. This is one of the arts that I'm more down with because all of the Setessens have sort of like the Spartan mm -hmm. look about them, yeah, yeah. and she's just hanging out. Yeah. You know, like it's it's one of the arts that I'm more down for in this set. And second of all, it's another piece for Enchantress. Ooh, yeah. So we look back uh, a long time ago, they had our Gothian Enchantress. Mm -hmm. as one green, one colorless, and our Gothian Enchantress, whenever you play an enchantment, you draw a card. And that will always be an effect that you're gonna want. Yeah. Uh, it's Especially in Commander, just that little value. For doing the stuff that your deck already does, getting that value. And the next card that we saw do that was Nisa Enchantress. So she's double white, same effect, and a zero two. The actual, the last time I think that we saw an Enchantress was the last Theros, and that was Eidolon of Blossoms. Mm -hmm. And that one was four mana, but she also drew a card on her own ETB because of Constellation. So, all in this all, better. yeah, this is an incredible, so it's got that same effect. Whenever, yeah. whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield, um, you're gonna draw your card. Yep. Yeah, uh, this is you know our opinions of these six cards, but I know there's so many more that we are excited about, and that I'm sure you are as well. Be sure to drop those down in the comment section. We can start a little conversation about what's uh, what works with what, and what just should not even be part of the set. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. I'm Flowers. I'm Pete. Drown. Catch you guys next time. May his return come swiftly. And may we be found worthy. 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 <laughs> Back away. Cause when you're a little black kitty and you're hungry, you don't care what's happening in the room. You're just gonna eat your food next to the microphone and make lots of noise cause that's what you do. It's a cute time. And he's eating all the It's a cute time. It's a cute time.
Hannity now loves its factory munching and crunching it up.